Hey guys, it's Rindy and I am here today with a new intro for you to a project that I am participating in for the first time. This is drop 10 before summer. I believe the Pantastic Ladies have done this like three or four times. This is my first year doing it and this is a project created by Amanda, Jessica, and Yana. And you hear those names a lot around here because they're awesome at planning projects. So what can I say? But this is, you drop 10 products and 10 pounds. And I have a slight spin on the weight loss you'll see in a minute that starts today on March 21st and ends on the 21st of June when summer starts. So you can pick 10 products and try and lose 10 pounds. And I also did measurements because I'm not very good at actual pound weight loss. Like I can work and feel like my clothes are fitting different and then step on the scale and I've lost half a pound. So I did measurements, had my husband help me do measurements, like all your basic body parts you would measure to check your weight loss. And I am going to focus both on inches and weight. So 10 inches overall, and we'll see what 10 inches is in weight loss for me. So this is an extra experiment on top of this because I don't lose pounds. So it's, it's, it's a crazy world to live in where you're, you can test out to, you can measure out to having 3% body fat and be considered overweight for your height. That was me back at 19 year old, 19 years old in the army. You're still getting taped. Long story. But let me show you my 10 products. I'm not going to like name off my weight and my measurements and all that, but I will as updates come along give you like the number of inches I've lost and the number of pounds I've lost if that happens. So let me show you the 10 products I have over here in my big old box. And I will start here. Well, let me find the first thing on my list or I'm gonna get confused. So the first thing I've got out as I drop it, guys, holy cats, all right. The first thing I've got is my Franken bronzer. You might remember this if you're following me on my Instagram from a Franken of a bunch of shadows from my pan that palette from last year. The pan is oldest time project pan. So this is just the remnants of the Franken bronzer I created all, all that and you can see how shimmery it really is. But I kind of have enjoyed this. So I just want to use that up Then I'll have an empty pan to press something else into exciting stuff. <clears throat> the next thing is my Avon Irresistibly Sexy Lip Gloss. This one is starting right there. I put it in hot water so everything would run down. And quite honestly, guys, I picked this one because I love the Dominique Cosmetics Lip Gloss that's in my A to Z project pan so much I don't want to lose it. So I picked one that I wouldn't be mad keeping in my pocket and losing because Rindy loses lip glosses. Say it together. Rindy loses lip glosses. So that one will be my pocket lip gloss and we'll see if I can get through it before I lose it. Goals. So the number three is my Maybelline Colorama Polish in Twinkling Toffee and they're laying down in the box but I did stand them up and mark them. So this one at this and this one actually looks really pretty with the blue polish that I have on today and every day that my husband picked for the significant other project. So they look real good together. So I'm excited to put those together until the end of both projects and have a little more variety than just this blue that I've had for months now. The, it's, it's, it's confusing times up in here. So the fourth thing is the LA Colors Lilac lipstick. This was in something else. You can see there's my marks. This is what it looks like and you can see my marks if I have it at the plastic. That is what it is. I It's supposed to be a lipstick. I haven't worn it as a lipstick. I've put it on as a highlight. I've used it on my eyes but we'll see where this goes but I'd love to get this out because it's just sitting here and this tiny little nub left. So we'll see how that one goes. The next thing is my Artist Couture Summer Haze because summer, here we go. This is a loose powder and you're, watch the mess, watch, ready? 
Oh, you can't pan it, but look at, ooh, it's a disaster. So this is one of the uh, Artist Couture Loose Powder highlights, and if you've had one of these, you know how much of a mess they are. So I'm going to not open this and show you. I did weigh it on the micro scale my husband just got me, and it is 29.547 grams to start with. So we will see where this guy gets to in the next three months weight-wise. The next thing is the Avon Glimmer Stick. You know, glimmer, shiny, summer, summer theme. Go, work with me here, guys, all right? So this one was also in a project, and you can see I got this close to finishing it, guys. So come on, get this out of here. My goal for lip liners is to actually only have clear lip liners to go with basically any lip color that I choose. So I've tried to get all the colored lip liners out as I go through panning. So that one is so close to being gone and getting numbers down. So that is a goal. The next thing is, we're on what, number seven, is the Freeman Clay Mask. This is the avocado and oatmeal. And you know, doesn't that look fresh and summery and water and not frozen and ice so I am here on there and I do on a I put this in here to encourage myself to mask better guys you can see my skin is really taken I, I've really taken a toll on my skin because I haven't been keeping up with skincare and masking and doing all the things I should be doing with my life especially over the last week with kids home trying to keep them trying to learn things that kind of thing so I want to encourage myself to do this at least once a week maybe twice but that is where I am starting at the blue line right there the eighth thing so here's a story for you guys as I was going through I thought oh I could put a lotion in right like I've got plenty of summery lotion so I pulled out this grapefruit lotion and I squeezed it to see how much was left in it I went like this and the thing cracked open the packaging the lotion is so old it just cracked open so I scraped everything out and I put it in here and this is the grapefruit lotion that I plan on using up throughout the rest of this project. And then this I'm going to toss before it makes a mess everywhere. This is what you'll see from now on for the grapefruit lotion. And that'll be one more lotion that apparently doesn't need to be sitting in there because it wasn't even usable in the condition it was in. So the ninth thing I have is my Sweet Pea body spray from Bath and Body Works and don't worry like the lotion and the sweet pea aren't going to clash this a lotion is something I do at night body spray is day so it won't really be a problem so I am starting right there and I don't know that I am going to be through this in three months but stay tuned there's another project coming up and you will see this one and that's a longer one so this one's going to be kind of doubling up for the time being but stay tuned for that and it will be done in projects in the next year and then the final thing is as i throw the body spray my goodness guys is the ofra body illuminizer and this one you've seen before and that is where i had left off in my last project and i really i might have used it once since then but i left the line where it's at because i couldn't really tell i can feel air bubbles in there so that is where i'm saying i am starting on this guy so that is it for the drop 10 by summer intro for the drop 10 by summer project pan let me say drop 10 by summer one more time so that's that's that let's see if I can lose inches or lose pounds or lose my mind or at least lose some of these products so anyways guys I hope you're taking care of yourselves in these trying times I hope you're finding things for your kids to do if they're home finding things to keep yourself sane all those good things I hope you're having a wonderful evening and until the next time I will talk to you all later